Good morning, John. Thank you for your video Monday where you explained all of the ways in which the world has actually gotten a lot better in the last 15 years, which would indicate that we have the ability to make it even better in the next 15 years. But there was a problem with your video, John. Uh, it's that you made your video about good news, and we are cognitively biased to be both disinterested in and kind of skeptical of good news, especially when that good news is so large-scale that we can't really get emotionally involved in it. It's kind of difficult to care. So I'm going to be taking a different tack, John. Today, right now, as 193 leaders throughout the world sign on to the UN Global Goals for the next 15 years, I don't care how much better things have gotten because they still suck. I don't like outrage for outrage's sake. I don't like the news getting me all riled up about things that don't really matter that much. I want to be angry that children are dying, that gender inequality exists pretty much everywhere on Earth, that six million people will die this year because they don't have access to clean water. The world is messed up. But we have a plan. There are 17 global goals, each with a number of outlined distinct targets that the UN is asking every nation on Earth to help us all achieve by 2030. And you know what the chances of us pulling that off are if nobody cares about it? Zero. Absolutely zero. We basically need every person on Earth to know about these goals because they are achievable and we can do this, but only if people hold their governments accountable. Only if we care. So discover the joy with me of being pissed off for a good reason. Not in opposition of some other group of people, but in absolute agreement with everybody on Earth. Every child on Earth should go to school. No one should be hungry. No one should be in extreme poverty. And corrupt governments and greed should not stand in the way of these goals. And I don't mean to be a doomsayer, but it's not going to matter if we achieve these goals if we build them on top of an unsustainable exploitation of our planet. In order for this world to make the kind of investments it needs to achieve these goals, we have to care. We have to hold our leaders accountable. And if you do care, then you kind of definitionally have to be angry because it's infuriating. So get angry. Choose a global goal that resonates the most with you. Draw that on your face with some eyeliner or some Sharpie. I don't care. Share with all your people. Put it on your Instagrams and on your Snapchats and Facebooks. I don't care where you put it. Share it with the world. People have to know. Did I spit on you? Oh, I'm sorry. That's so unfortunate for you. Get up. Share the global goals. Print out a poster at globalgoals.org. Put it up in your school campus or at your office or around your town and show it to your mom. Share this with the rest of the world because we have gone halfway and that is not far enough. Let it out with me. Feel it with me. Scream at the specter of injustice and unfairness. And then go to globalgoals.org, find out what all the fuss is about, pick your favorite goal, draw it on your face or have a friend do it because I found out it's actually quite hard to draw something on your own face. Share it, let people know what the heck's going on, why they should know about this and why they maybe should be a little angry and also a little optimistic about the future of life here on Earth. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. I'm honestly amazed at how far we've come, at how much infant mortality has decreased, at how much education and access to clean water has increased. There's a tremendous amount of good news, but I'm really, I'm not being like tongue in cheek in this. I'm actually, like, I think that if we're gonna get angry about anything, this is the stuff to get angry about. And it's kind of hard because it isn't like one thing and it doesn't feel like, ah, oh, that's so frustrating that this one thing happened. It's big. It's big and it's hard to get your mind around and it's impossible to believe that we can actually do stuff about this, but we can. The UN exists for a reason and the global goals are an actual plan. And I am really amazed by them and really inspired by them. And I really do hope that you will be inspired, whoever this is watching will be inspired to share this stuff with people around you and in your life and, and, and in your community. So yeah, I'm angry and I yelled at you. And I apologize for that, it was a little freaky, but I think that we can do this stuff, but only if we hold our leaders accountable and if we really want it to happen. And of all the things I want to happen most in the world, the achievement of the global goals is number one on the list. I will never be angry again if we can just pull this off.